Good evening, everyone. Welcome again to the Bible reading, Bible study time. That the Lord has blessed us again to get in His Word one more time. And I give Him all the praise and give Him all the glory. Because He is worthy, He's still on the throne, He's still saving, He's still blessing, and He's still setting free. Our most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, uh, it's again we come to you today, Lord, uh, to thank you, Lord, for one more time uh, that you have given us. Uh, I to get in your word just a little while, uh, and I pray today, Lord, uh, that you touch, Lord, to lift the clay, Lord, uh, and you let, give us wisdom, Lord. To speak your word with understanding, uh, that would help us all. Uh, I draw closer to you and have a greater desire uh, to follow you, Lord. Uh, and I pray, O oh Lord, today uh, that you'll bless uh, every soul, every heart uh, that's listening to this video today, uh, or whenever they listen to it, Lord, uh, that you'll fill them uh, with your Holy Spirit, uh, that they can feel your spirit uh, uh, raging within, uh, uh, like a storm, my friend. I, I'm a Lord, I, I till the cup runneth over, I, and catch it to someone else, I, and I pray, O oh Lord, today, I, that you bless them beyond their dreams, I, I bet beyond their expectations, I, and you, Lord, I, and I pray, O oh Lord, you let them know I, that they're still secure I, in your hands, I, and you are, they are sealed I, until the day of redemption, I, and I pray, O oh Lord, you let this word I, I draw us closer to you, I, and give us more determination uh, and more uh, uh, desire uh, to follow you in your word, Lord, uh, because we know, Lord, uh, your word is true, uh, and it will lead us all the way to you uh, and all the way home uh, if we listen to it uh, and what it says, Lord. Uh, and I pray, oh Lord, tonight, uh, uh, this evening, uh, if someone is lost, uh, I listen to this video, uh, uh, this will be the night, uh, uh, the evening they'll get saved uh, and come to you, Lord. Uh, and your spirit drawing them. And I pray, O oh Lord, I for those that's gone astray, you go back out into the world. I pray you bring them back and help them seek out the old path. And when they find it, walk therein, that we can all labor together in your vineyard to see sons and daughters born into thy kingdom, Lord, where they won't have to go down to the place of destruction, Lord. That place is called hell. Uh, that was prepared for the devil and angels uh, and not mankind. <coughs> <coughs> And these things we ask uh, in the wonderful name of the Lord and Savior, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, uh, and amen. Uh, and thank you, Father, uh, one more time for your love uh, and for your mercy. And today we're going to be in the great book of James. The Lord led me back to this book again and if it's the Lord's will, we're going to go through the whole chapter this time. But it won't be all in this setting. But I want us to listen closely to what he said. <coughs> now I don't want you to forgive me for coughing. I didn't bring no water in here. So I get dry sometimes. But still I'm going to carry on God's word to the best of my ability that he's called me to do. And I, I believe you'll be blessed if you read along with me. Because sometimes, a few years ago, I had a mini stroke. And it affected my speech some. But nevertheless, the Lord's helped me on through this. And he has never taken this gift from me or calling from me. Now, as we get into James... Chapter 1, and we'll begin with verse 1 in the King James Version Bible. And that's the Bible I always read. Because if we can't find enough in the King James Version Bible to make it home, then we won't find it in all the others that's been written. Because this is the closest one to the original manuscript that has been recorded and written. Now, in this chapter also, we talk about how Paul 
made it so hard for us to understand. But Paul read us, led us up to James, and James tied the knot around the hitching post because it's pure and straight to the point. And we don't have to guess at what he's talking about. It is so plain. I thought I'd share that before we get into God's Word. And I know His Spirit is already working. But the more we listen, the more it's going to move. Just open our hearts to that, to Him, and let the Spirit have its free course to run into your soul and your heart. And we'll all be blessed. Now James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God, of the Lord Jesus Christ to the twelve tribes, which are scattered abroad, greetings. In other words, he's speaking to everyone, my friend. To my brethren, count it all joy when ye fall in diverse temptations. My friend, we cannot do that unless the Lord Jesus Christ is living in us and live the Christian life through us. Because we are not strong enough to live it within ourselves, therefore he must be living in us and us living in him. For he, he lives this gospel, the Christian life walk through him. Or we could not make it. Verse 3, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. This patience means that we wait for what we pray for. We wait on Him, because in due time, if we don't give up, He will come through with what we are asking. And also ask him what is needful to the, to the soul, and he will take care of the rest. And let's never forget to pray for each other. Because in praying for each other, we are praying for, for ourselves, because he already knows what we need before we even ask him. And therefore, let's stay in his word. That's why he said, but, be, but, but let it, patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Other words, the Lord, the Word would tell us exactly what we need. He would need to tell us how we need to walk. It would tell us how we need to look to Him and lean on Him and how He is author and finisher of our faith. And it's through Him we will make it to heaven someday. My friend, my friend, I, I do not get discouraged. I, I, when things happen, I, they don't go. I, I way would think it should go, I, but leave it in the hands I, of just a living God I, and trust Him. I, and my friend, one day, I, He will bring it to pass, and my friend, I, and we'll see I, how much He is. I, I really are working I, in our daily, daily, daily lives, I, and I pray I, that you will hear I, I, what He to say tonight uh, and have joy in his word uh, and knowing my friend uh, his word is true uh, I every bit of it uh, I from the beginning to the end uh, and it's settled forever in heaven uh, my friend uh, and no man is to add to uh, or take away uh, we know they do this uh, but they're disobeying God uh, I when they do uh, but I will not accuse them uh, I let the Lord uh, I take care of that uh, in his time uh, and his will Will, and I know he will, my friend, because he's God of the living and God of the dead. And my friend, my friend, he knows all things, even in the tent of the heart. Now let's go on just a little farther before I get carried away too much. And I do get carried away in the spirit. I enjoy it. I rejoice in it. Although I'm feeble and worn and getting old and gray, I draw enjoy the Lord uh, his word uh, because I find joy in it uh, and when you can't find joy uh, I know where else uh, just pick up your old Bible uh, and begin to read in silence uh, that uh, and turn out your mind to the world uh, and get into the word uh, and let that word sink in our heart uh, and we will come find comfort uh, and joy too uh, along the way uh, as we read uh, now let's get back into the word uh, uh, what it says uh, 
And verse number five, if any of you like wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Let him ask him, and I doubt, my friend, he will be, he will give us the wisdom we need to get us through this world, my friend. And let me pray, tell you, my friend, also, don't get to thinking we know more than anyone else. Be called my friend when we do. Pride will move in. Let us keep ourselves on equal level. That we are not, we're no better than someone else. My friend, but God is the same God. Over all as he is over one. My friend today, there are too many they have respect of persons. When they go around a church house, a place of gathering, my friend, my friend, that church house is built for a purpose uh, for God's people to gather together uh, and worship Him uh, and be a witness uh, to the lost and dying world uh, to those that come in uh, that need a Savior. Uh, we, we're not there to build one up above the others uh, because someone else will see uh, and they're looking for that. Uh, uh, many may be looking for a church home, uh, my friend, but when they see uh, uh, that respect of persons uh, and they will see it, I guarantee it, uh, uh, my friend, uh, and they will see it and that would throw a coldness on them. They would say we don't want to come here because they have their preferences. They love one and like one more than they do someone else and therefore it will run them away from someone that's looking for a church to go to and belong and be with God's people that they may learn and grow together in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. So therefore we we're not to have respect of persons uh, of anyone. Uh, now listen, uh, verse 6, uh, But let him ask in faith uh, nothing wavering, uh, uh, for he that wavers is like a wave uh, of the sea, uh, uh, driven with the winds uh, and tossed. Uh, my pretty unstable, uh, my friends in all the ways, uh, they're never satisfied uh, uh, with anything. Uh, there's something today, my friend, uh, then there'll be something else tomorrow. Uh, my friend, my friend, it ain't that way. We are either for the Lord Jesus Christ or we is the enemy. My friend, if we don't love a brother whom we have seen, then how can we love God whom we have not seen? It can't be done, my friend, because love works through in and through all that will come to him and be saved. And therefore, that spirit has to be moving through our hearts and lives for us to understand that. Now, listen. Listen, uh, verse 7, uh, For let not that man think uh, that he shall receive uh, anything of the Lord. Uh, a, doubtful mind, a double mind uh, is, unsta is unstable. Uh, a double-minded man uh, is unstable in all his ways. Uh, let that a brother uh, of low degree rejoice uh, in that he is exalted. Uh, let the man uh, of low degree rejoice uh, that he sees his someone else uh, exalted uh, in the spirit of the living God. Uh, and see the actions, uh, my friend, see uh, that Holy Spirit at work uh, and their boldness uh, to speak to each God's word. Uh, were they like it or not? Uh, uh, my friend, they will know. Uh, my friend, uh, I've sat through many church services, uh, and I've been in churches uh, uh, that were cold, uh, and I've been in churches that the Spirit was so moving, uh, uh, so strongly, uh, it seemed like he'd almost reach out and touch it. Uh, my friend, uh, that's the way we should be, uh, be able to reach out uh, and touch that Holy Spirit. Uh, I touch him as he goes by, uh, my friend, uh, and he's passing by uh, uh, this moment, uh, our need to supply, so reach out and touch the Lord uh, as he goes by, uh, and my friend will be blessed, uh, and we'll know he has been there, uh, because he dwells uh, uh, within the heart uh, of the born again people, uh, those that have been saved uh, and made themselves ready uh, uh, to go, uh, uh, when he calls their name, uh, my friend is not ashamed uh, uh, to proclaim God's word uh, uh, to the lost and dying world, uh, uh, wherever they are, uh, or wherever they go 
Joe, even they run us off, my friend. They asked us to testify in a church where we go. If we stand and testify our straightly of the Lord Jesus Christ and what he has done, if they asked us to leave, I leave with joy. But when we get to the door, I let us kick the dust off our feet as a witness against them. And my friend, they will somehow, some way, I come to the knowledge that they are not where they should be and give them the desire, my friend, to step up a little bit closer and take another look at themselves and look at the gospel. And my friend, I didn't know I was going to say all that, but I don't apologize for it. I give it as God gives me, and I will not apologize for it because it lines up with the Word of God wherever you may read or wherever we may go in God's Word. It will line up uh, and fit with God's word uh, because he won't have us uh, uh, speak things uh, that's contrary to his word uh, that's contrary to his gospel uh, because he all wants us all uh, uh, to know the truth uh, and he wants us to preach the truth of his word uh, and not man's word uh, but by God's word himself uh, uh, the words uh, that he spoke to the prophets of old uh, and they were moved on uh, by the Holy Ghost uh, to record his scripture uh, for our belief it, uh, and for our learning. Uh, now let's go on uh, uh, just a little farther. Verse 10, uh, but the rich in that uh, he is made low, uh, because as the flower of the grass uh, he shall pass away, uh, no matter how much money uh, he's got down here, uh, and money uh, and worldly possessions, uh, is all going to pass away, uh, and he's going to leave it uh, like a blade of, blade of grass. Uh, what is he talking about? Uh, their life will come and go, uh, and then they'll be laid uh, beneath the sod, uh, like the man that ain't got a dime, uh, and my friend that never had a dime uh, like a poor man uh, that's had to live in a shack uh, beside the road uh, and big people uh, uh, to feed him uh, and hoping somebody would come by uh, and give him something to eat. Uh, my friend, uh, let's give him the word of God. Uh, and my friend, that's the best food uh, uh, we can give to someone uh, except natural food. Uh, I ain't a saying to not help him uh, uh, naturally. Uh, uh, all we can, uh, my friend, but be sure uh, that we feed him the spiritual food. I love the word of God, my friend is sharper sharper than any two-edged sword uh, my friend uh, uh, that will touch the heart uh, and will lead many uh, uh, to him to be saved uh, it will convict their heart uh, and help them to see uh, how much uh, and how bad they need uh, the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ in the life uh, and how they need uh, to be saved Verse 11, For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withers the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace off, the passion of it perishes, so also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. What are you talking about? The flower, they think they're beautiful, they think they're pretty, they think they got because they own so much that they stand out among the crowds as a flower, my friend, but they will all vanish away one day and be gone. They'll wither away like a blade of grass, and it's remembered no more. My friend, but the people down here, but my friend, that ain't all of it. One day, after a while, they'll have to go stand before the judgment seat of Christ, as we all will, and give an account of the deeds done in the good in the body. And I'm afraid that many Many times uh, uh, when they get there, uh, uh, many of them are going to look down. Uh, they going to see the blood of those uh, all on, on their hands uh, that they didn't help along the way. Uh, and they didn't reach out to, uh, my friend. Uh, if we can't get to them in person, my friend, uh, lift their name up before uh, uh, the Lord in prayer uh, and ask Him to bless them. Uh, and we are praying for ourselves uh, in the meantime. Uh, but if we got a uh, means uh, to help someone uh, along the way, uh, Let's help that soul uh, at someone uh, because that's a lead that can lead them to the Lord uh, and believe in Him uh, and know that He uh, will take care of His own uh, and give them that much more uh, determination and desire uh, for to meet Him uh, and be saved uh, and to follow Him. Uh, now listen uh, as He goes on. Uh, 
verse 13. Uh, Let no man say when he is tempted, uh, I am tempted uh, of God, uh, for God cannot be tempted uh, with evil, uh, neither tempteth he uh, any man, uh, but every man is tempted uh, when he is drawn away uh, of his own lust uh, and enticed uh, a big above the big uh, uh, to come in, uh, enticed the uh, urge to come in, uh, my friend. Uh, then when uh, the lust hath conceived, uh, it bringeth forth sin, uh, and sin when it is finished, uh, bringeth forth death. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, uh, listen to God's word uh, as it speaks to us, uh, and it is true, uh, even cut the mire uh, of the bone. Uh, uh, my friend, deep down in the soul, uh, it will cut, uh, it will separate, uh, it will set free those that are bound, uh, it will open up a way uh, for them to be saved. Uh, by the grace of God and be ready to go home when the morning comes therefore my friend let's give him some praise and honor and give him some glory for his great love that he's had for us that he saw down through our sins how evil a man we were and people we were but when he sent God sent his only begotten son to the cross to die for us to set us free from that sin that we were in, uh, that we could come out of that darkness uh, and walk in the light uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and be saved uh, and then be ready to go home in the morning uh, uh, when the morning comes. Uh, and let me tell you also, uh, uh, my friends, a uh, lot of this word has to be hard uh, and hit us hard uh, uh, get us to understand uh, and open our eyes. Uh, so my friend, the deeper anyone uh, can get into the word, uh, the better I like it. Uh, when, I, when I hear a uh, minister speak uh, uh, the gospel. Uh, I want him to get down uh, this far deep down uh, in the word of God. Uh, we'll let him go uh, and bring that word out uh, uh, that we may understand uh, uh, what he is saying to us uh, and that we may know how uh, to possess our own vessels uh, and give him praise uh, and give him the glory uh, and never be ashamed uh, to confess him before the lost uh, and dying world uh, and tell them uh, I want more time of God's love uh, and his mercy uh, and how he wants to save them uh, and he will save them if they come to him uh, in a free pardon of sin uh, asking forgiveness uh, of their sins uh, and that spirit will be a drawing them. Uh, he will pull them in. He will save them uh, and make them to uh, uh, fit subject for the glory uh, uh, forever uh, that we can all glorify him together uh, in heaven someday uh, uh, when this life is over. Uh, now go back uh, into God's word. Uh, James uh, 1 and 16. Uh, do not err, my beloved brethren. In uh, other words, don't go the wrong way. Uh, don't take the wrong road. Uh, but follow the Lord, uh, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, follow the instructions uh, he has given us. Uh, Verse 17, uh, every good gift uh, and every perfect gift is from above uh, and cometh down uh, uh, from the Father of light, uh, with whom is no vermin, uh, neither shadow of turning. Uh, in other words, he don't have no respect uh, a person, my friend. Uh, if God don't have respect a person, uh, uh, neither should we, uh, because he died for all uh, on that old rugged cross, uh, and not just one or two, uh, but for every soul uh, that will be born uh, in this world, uh, those that's gone on, uh, and those that will come on uh, after us, uh, if so be the world continues on, uh, my friend, uh, but I pray my friend, it's going to some, uh, I soon come uh, uh, to the close of it all, uh, because all the signs we see around us uh, is a point to it, uh, I read in Daniel, uh, and you'll find out some things uh, that not many don't know, uh, they don't want to look into it, uh, about the beast, uh, uh, my friend, he'll open our eyes uh, to many things uh, of the day. Uh, but my friend get back uh, into the book of James uh, uh, here tonight. Uh, verse 18. Uh, of his own will beget he, he us uh, uh, with the word uh, of truth uh, that we should be a kind uh, of first fruit uh, of his creatures uh, being the number uh, that go to meet him uh, uh, when he calls our name. Uh, I wonder after a while uh, that we'll be part uh, of the first fruit. Uh, what is the first 
first fruit. Uh, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ was the first fruit, uh, my friend, uh, and we become the part of the fruit. Uh, when we grafted into the real tree, uh, uh, the tree uh, of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, when we were saved uh, and set free from our sins uh, that were against us uh, before we come to that time. Uh, now listen, uh, verse 19, uh, Wherefore, uh, my beloved brethren, uh, let every man be swift to hear, uh, uh, slow to speak, uh, and slow to wrath. Uh, my friend, before uh, you ask them, uh, answer a man's questions, uh, uh, think about uh, uh, what he's asking you uh, before we answer too quick uh, and be sure we know uh, uh, what he means uh, and uh, my friend uh, if we don't know what he really means uh, uh, what he's really asking uh, let's tell him we don't know uh, but we'll look it up uh, and see what it says uh, and get back with him uh, my friend my friend uh, don't say something uh, about the word if you can't pronounce it uh, or if you can't remember uh, like you should. Uh, I read it, my friend, that uh, we don't get nothing wrong. Uh, I can quote many scriptures. Uh, uh, yes, I can. Uh, but I'd rather read them any time uh, as quote them. Uh, uh, why? Because uh, I might get a wrong word in there uh, uh, through quoting the scripture. Uh, and I'll even mean to it. Uh, but my friend, the wrong word uh, can stop, just kill, stop the meaning uh, of the whole verse uh, and hinder someone uh, from understanding uh, uh, what the Lord I, I want them to understand and know. Uh, verse 20, uh, for the break. For the wrath of man uh, worketh not the righteousness of God. Uh, in other words, it'll be lead uh, to argument uh, if you don't know how to answer, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, because you answer contrary uh, to what they believe uh, and still stay with the word, uh, my friend, it will get anger, uh, angry uh, because it's contrary uh, to what they believe uh, and they will become our enemies, uh, my friend. Therefore, uh, let us be careful what we say. Uh, that's what he meant. Uh, but 19, uh, wherefore, my beloved brethren, uh, let every man be swift to hear, uh, be swift to hear, uh, uh, the word of God, uh, and uh, slow to speak, uh, I figure it out, uh, before you answer, uh, uh, and slow to wrath, my friend, uh, because we will pay uh, a great price uh, for leading somebody uh, or causing someone uh, uh, to go astray uh, away from a father. Uh, and my friend, many might not get back uh, uh, to the Lord uh, because they could be called away uh, before they get back to the Lord, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, therefore, let's act on the best of our ability uh, about the plan uh, of salvation uh, and what it takes for them uh, uh, to be saved. Now go back into the scripture, verse 21. I wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save our souls. But be you doers of the word and not yours only, deceiving your own selves. My friend, my friend, if we don't do it, my friend, then we're deceiving ourselves saying we do, uh, am I praying? Uh, now listen, let me read this again. Huh? Be you doers of the word, uh, be obedient to it, uh, and what it says, uh, and preach it as it is written, uh, and I'll add to it, uh, or take away, uh, uh, being afraid, uh, you offend somebody, uh, uh, through the word, uh, but preach your word and teach your word, uh, as it is written, uh, now listen what he says, uh, but ye doers, be ye doers, but be ye doers uh, of the word, uh, and all hearers only, uh, deceiving your own selves. Uh, for if any man be a hearer uh, of the word, uh, and not a doer, uh, he's like unto a man beholding uh, his natural face uh, in a glass. Uh, for he both beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, uh, and straightway, or quickly, uh, or forgetteth. Uh, what manner of man uh, uh, he was, uh, my friend. Uh, it's just like a man, uh, a person, a woman, whoever it might be, uh, uh, standing before the mirror uh, and just in her tie uh, and making her hair, every hair on her head uh, lay in the right place uh, that it will shine uh, out and show uh, how pretty they may think they are, uh, uh, my friend. Uh, let's look at this uh, again. Uh, 
my prayers uh, and we must console we go outside uh, in the wind uh, and the winds are blowing uh, how quickly do we forget uh, uh, what we look like uh, when we stand before the mirror uh, and my prayers uh, we're the same way you get back out there uh, in the world uh, amongst all these things uh, that's so ungodly uh, that it's a shame to even speak about them uh, it even in secret uh, uh, then my friend uh, that would draw the spirit uh, away from uh, us uh, and cause a great hindrance uh, in our walk uh, uh, with the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that's why he told us uh, to not be in that. Uh, uh, get away from out from that. Uh, he, that's why he told us uh, to be sure uh, it was the word of God, uh, uh, my friend, uh, that we were shared uh, uh, with the lost and dying world uh, and even with each other. Uh, now listen while he goes on uh, in the next three verses. Uh, I'm going to read uh, and we'll close uh, because it'll be the end of this chapter. Uh, but not no, by no means uh, in the end of this book. Uh, now listen, 25. Uh, but whoso looketh uh, into the perfect law uh, of liberty, uh, uh, which is the word of God, uh, my friend, it is the perfect law of liberty. Uh, and if you don't want to, want to know, uh, if you do want to know uh, what the perfect law of God is, uh, then look in the word of God, uh, and it will tell us uh, uh, the perfect law of liberty. Uh, will tell us exactly, uh, my friend, it is a us know uh, it's not the word of man uh, but the word of almighty God uh, and my friend uh, the creator of heaven and earth uh, and the savior of our souls uh, and my friend uh, but whoso looketh into uh, the perfect law of liberty uh, and continueth therein uh, he be not a forgetful hearer uh, but a doer uh, of the work uh, the work this man shall be blessed uh, and indeed uh, the work and labor for the Lord uh, and not for, for self uh, but for the Lord uh, and if we do this for the Lord then uh, he will bless us uh, and a lot of times our blessings uh, come through the hands of others uh, that love God's word uh, uh, that loves uh, uh, to be fed from a master's table uh, which is the true word of God uh, and my friend uh, if you're being fed by the word of God uh, it's nothing wrong to share a little something with them I have helped them along the way now let's go on I just a little farther if a man uh, among you seem to be religious uh, and bridles not his tongue uh, but deceiveth his own heart uh, this man's religion is vain uh, though they don't care uh, uh, what to say uh, how bad it is uh, or how bad it sounds uh, or how may uh, it offend someone else uh, or put some down someone down uh, a brother or sister uh, or the one that you're talking to uh, my friend or whoever uh, uh, my friend my friend uh, now let me read this again Again, uh, and take it to heart. Uh, please, oh, please take it to heart. Uh, if any 26, uh, if any man among you see to be religious uh, and bridles not his tongue, uh, but deceiveth his own heart, uh, this man's religion uh, is vain. Uh, but now listen, my friend, listen to this. Uh, pure religion uh, and in the file before God uh, and the father is this uh, to visit the fatherless uh, and the widows uh, in their afflictions uh, and to keep himself unspotted uh, uh, from the world uh, my friend my friend uh, if we keep ourselves unspotted uh, uh, from the word uh, world uh, then we got to do what God says uh, what this word teaches us uh, and some say today uh, that the Lord ever speaks to them uh, my friend, and that is the ones uh, that never read the Bible uh, to see what it says, uh, because he is the living word uh, uh, from the beginning uh, unto the end, uh, and he always will be God, uh, and my friend, uh, and that word is settled in heaven, uh, forever be the word of God, uh, and never be the change, uh, never be changed, uh, because it is the truth, uh, and no other truth uh, except that, uh, and my friend is going to stand uh, uh, when the world uh, is burning down uh, with permanent heat. Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, be sure you stay today uh, uh, before you sleep the night uh, because it could be the last night uh, that you have. Uh, my friend, because we know not about uh, uh, tomorrow uh, or what it will bring, uh, but we know God uh, holds all of tomorrow's
in his hand, uh, and he also holds us in his hand. Our most kind and gracious Lord, I, I thank uh, Father, uh, we thank you again, dear Lord, uh, for another day uh, that you have blessed us to be in, uh, and to get in your word. Uh, uh, one more time, Lord, uh, and I pray again, Lord, uh, that you bless every listener uh, uh, to the depth of their soul, uh, and let them know that you are, they are in your hands, Lord. Uh, and Lord, I pray uh, uh, for those uh, that's lost and undone and don't know you, Lord, uh, as their Savior. Uh, I pray you send your drawn spirit uh, uh, to them one more time uh, and give them another chance, Lord, uh, how to be saved uh, before time runs out uh, because we know uh, however th th this finds us, Lord, uh, is the way we'll stand before you uh, on the great judgment day uh, that I know is sure to come uh, and will on its way. Uh, and I pray, O oh Lord, uh, also tonight for those sick uh, and afflicted in body. Uh, I can't call every name, Lord, uh, but you know who they are. Uh, if I started to call all names, uh, I would leave someone's name out, uh, and that wouldn't be right. Uh, but, Lord, you know who they are uh, and where they are. Uh, you know the ailments and things uh, that are wrong. Uh, I pray, Lord, if it's not your will, uh, that you, they will be healed in this life. Uh, I pray you make uh, other their sickness, uh, their pain easier to bear uh, and easier to endure uh, and let them be a light to those uh, that are walking around them, uh, that see them every day, uh, that by their good works and deeds uh, and love for you Lord, uh, that they uh, can reach those that are around them uh, and they can be saved uh, and lead them to you Lord, uh, and I pray O oh Lord Jesus, uh, how you keep us walking uh, on a pathway that is straight uh, and give us knowledge and wisdom uh, uh, to be about your business uh, and lead sons and daughters uh, out of you to be saved uh, because and pull them out uh, of the devil's grasp uh, and his downward road. Uh, my friend, it is crowded uh, with unbelieving souls. Uh, and Lord, uh, I pray you save them uh, uh, from that, Lord. Uh, and Lord, I pray today, uh, uh, this evening, uh, that you'll save someone uh, uh, before uh, uh, this day in, uh, before they sleep the night, uh, because tomorrow no promise. Lord, uh, but eternity is, uh, and Lord, when you get through with us, uh, we can hear you call our name uh, and say, well done, uh, and when we get there, Lord, uh, we can praise you forevermore, uh, we can bow our heads uh, and step aside uh, and give you praise and glory uh, that we can't give down here, uh, because we're still in the flesh, uh, this old body of clay, uh, but then we'll be spiritual uh, as you are, uh, and we can look upon your face, uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, and we can join uh, a great band of angels in heaven uh, uh, singing praises to you uh, and, glo and join those uh, that our loved ones has gone on before uh, that are waiting for our coming uh, uh, for us to get home. Uh, and Lord, when we get there, uh, we won't have to rush around uh, or be in a hurry, Lord. Uh, we'll be there uh, while the eternal ages roll uh, on and on. Uh, and when we've been there, Lord, uh, uh, 10,000 years or 10 million, Lord, uh, We'll have no less days uh, be to give you praise uh, than when we first begun. Uh, because there'll be ten million more uh, I to go. Uh, but Lord, until that day comes, uh, I pray you continue to lead us uh, and guide us uh, and give us the words we need to say uh, that will reach some lost, someone lost uh, along the way uh, and to come to you and be saved. Uh, and Lord, I know uh, if we can lead one to you uh, and be saved, uh, it will be worth it all. Uh, because it'll be one more uh, that the devil won't get uh, and take down to hell with him. Uh, and I pray, Lord, uh, you'll continue to bless us on our journey. Uh, these things we ask uh, in a wonderful name uh, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, and amen. Uh, and thank you, Father, uh, one more time uh, for your love uh, and your mercy.